Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns to the car on the BMW X1 E84. The X1 has a minimum of brake claims. Perhaps only the ABS unit can buy when the niche in which it is installed becomes clogged and starts to malfunction, but more, more, no more serious problems are foreseen. Not very cheap and spell pad sensors, no problem, just change pads early. Brake discs are not too expensive and pads cost a penny. The resource of discs are usually two or three replacement pads, and the pads run 20-30 thousand kilometers, quite a reasonable resource by modern standards. Although the high quality non original disc can go a little more, especially if you choose soft pads. The brake system is very sensitive to the quality of the brake fluid. It is recommended not to forget about the replacement intervals. The suspension is also no surprise here. The fastest verbing elements during active movement are the ball joints in the front and the hydraulic support for the lower front arm. Their resource is about 40-80 thousand kilometers for original parts. Moreover, the hydraulic support is often misdiagnosed even in a specialized service, and steering vibrations are attributed to problems in the tires or the brake system. After small surprises, the lack of the anti-roll bar inserts on sale, it is supposed to be replaced only as a complete set. In practice, the owners of course use E91 rubber bands. The only caveat is that the native rubber bands are glued, therefore when replacing new ones, it is also recommended to stick to the stabilizer to save the resource. The area where the fasteners are located becomes very dirty, and if this is not done, the resource of the parts will be insignificantly, insultingly small, about 10-20 thousand kilometers. At the back, everything is quite reliable. The main thing is not to forget to monitor the condition of the silent blocks of the subframe on powerful versions. Otherwise, the first predictably fail and the outer hinges on the support arm and the diagonal links with two silent blocks. With them, you can count on 7100,000 resources on good roads. The rest of the elements are strongly depend on the driving style and load. And by the way, about the tires. As on many other Bavarian cars, there is no place for a stowaway, since the X1 is equipped with run flat tires as standard. But their profile, higher than on passenger cars, make the tire noticeably stiffer. Many people know that when switching to regular tires, the car becomes much more comfortable and at the same time less demanding on the state of the suspension. With standard tires, the One X, X1 pleases not only with good handling, but also with increased requirements for the condition of shock absorbers and suspension mounts, as well as the condition of the hinges, silent blocks and supports. The steering is conventional with a hydraulic rack and an optional stereotronic module. Unfortunately, the rack is leaking. The problem is poor ceilings and stem corrosion. However, the bulkhead has been mastered and a thorough check of the rail is recommended at the time of purchase and each maintenance. So, if the fluid in the power steering tank still decreases, the repair price will be from 15,000 rubles. The first serious surprises lie in the weight of potential buyers of X1 right here. Now, there are no problems with the manual transmission and gears and electric motors are still giant in the transfer case. This is not a surprise. And the automatic transmissions are well known here. With motors of the N52 series of earlier releases, the GM 6L45R automatic transmission 6-speed is most often found. Later cars usually have a ZF 6HP19 automatic transmission. The same automatic transmission is often found in combination with atmospheric engines of the N64 B20 series from 2011 to 2015, but GM automatic transmissions were also installed on some other cars. Since 2009, almost all diesel cars and cars with the engines of N20 B20 series have been equipped with the new n spin automatic transmission ZF 8HP 45Z. The GM transmission of this series is very reliable, because it is designed for large trucks and can handle torque up to 450 nm. The design flaws of its predecessors in the phase of 5L40 have almost disappeared. The pedal pump has been improved, the materials and the shape of the rotor has been changed, the gas turbine engine has become more reliable, and its blocking is significantly more resourceful and pollutes of the OLS. With the time of replacement of the fluid, the box runs for a long time. Moreover, it goes. It gets into repairs in winter because of a childish problem. The gear selection stock freezes. With runs over 150,000, intermediate repairs are often required with the replacement of linear solenoids. If you drive with jerk, then it is not the mechanics that can break, but the electronics. The automatic transmission control unit assembled with solenoids. Repair of gas turbine engines more, most often happens with runs for 200 to 150,000, but in the case of a sporty driving style, the resource can be two times less. The mechanical part mainly suffers from dirty oil. Problems begin with slow shifting of second, third and reverse gears. Then blows when all gears are engaged, which will already require expensive repairs. In general, these boxes are a very successful design, although in terms of driving characteristics, it lags behind the ZF of dramatic transmission. 
The Expedited app has long been known to all services. The first experience in introducing electronics into the automatic transmission itself with the information of mechatronics was to some extent ingenious. To move to more economical hydraulic circuits and improve kinematics was also a breakthrough. But the owners remember the excellent dynamic and the very expensive and frequent repairs of these transmissions. Brands of 200,000 km are extreme, while the repairs are extremely voluminous and expensive. On boxes of those series that were installed on X1, most often breakdowns are associated with failures of mechatronics, but in this case it doesn't change entirely. In most cases, businesses is limited to cleaning and replacing the separator plate and monitoring the operation of loaded solenoids. The resource problems of this series of automatic transmissions begin after 150,000 km. First of all, it needs to replace the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine, and if the oil hasn't been changed or changed rarely, then it also needs to replace all the bushings and repair of the oil pump. For those who like to press down the sneaker, each time the resource of the gas turbine engine drops to hundreds of thousands, but even with a very quiet ride, the linings are unlikely to stretch up to 250. The box quite actively uses the possibility of partial blocking, even with quiet movement. The 8-speed automatic transmission 8HP55Z is famous for the dependence of the resource on the driving style, as well as excellent capabilities for electronic diagnostics of its condition. Generally speaking, the resource has dropped to a little more, but the number of serious failures of mechatronics in this series of boxes is less, and it tolerates hard modes and overheating better. True, it is also more expensive to repair than its 6-speed predecessors. Actually, the resource of automatic transmissions in modern BMWs is not a surprise, as is the price of repairs. The surprises start with the front gearbox, which despite all its light load, often turns out to be without oil and with damaged bearings. However, the hole when discharging gas can also be caused by problems in a transfer case. With the younger series of motors, they installed two weak a transfer case of the ATS ATC 35L series, which simply doesn't withstand off-road exploits. The stronger ATC 350 holds up noticeably better. It is replaced by the youngest one in, in, if the later fails. And the gear rear box on the 28iX and 25DX versions tend to some tend to come off completely. If you miss the movement of separation of one or even two silent blocks of fastening, then you can get to replace the drive shafts and assembly. Fortunately, there is nothing more to break here. Is that the resource of the CV joint anthers is prone to small? It is recommended to change them every 50,000 km. They usually start to sweet in the summer, and in winter, the loss of tightness can be skipped, and then the hand hinge itself will have to be changed. Most of the cars are equipped with naturally aspired engines of the N46B20 series and diesels N37B20. Of the general difficulties, there is a very dense arrangement of radiators, and on supercharged engines, there is also a not very successful shape of the intercooler. It is very difficult to flush it. But we'll start with the diesel engine, which is more popular on the X1. Diesels of the N47 series are good for everything – traction, power and economy all except for a good chance to ruin, to ruin the owner and the characteristic timing noise, while audible in the cabin. Motors up to 2011 have a frankly small resource of the timing chain, which is located here on the flywheel side. Of course, the cost of replacing it is extremely high, since the procedure includes removing the engine. While the intake manifold flaps, which eventually tend to get into the cylinders and the capricious piezo injectors complete the picture. If the chains were changed under warranty, then you can count on a resource of about 250,000 km to be bulkhead. But some of the cars didn't get into the recall campaign and the owners considered the timing chain to be eternal, so there is a still chance to buy a problematic copy. Usually in such machines the timing breaks off with runs of 80,000, but the upper limit fluctuates greatly. Some of the cars could undergo warranty repairs until 2011 with replacing the crankshaft and chains with an intermediate one, but also an unsuccessful option. In this case, there was a still a chance for timing chains to slip and an oil pump chain break, but with slightly higher mileage than the original version. The resource of the use injectors is limited to about 150-200,000 km, and they can cause a lot of problem. In the event of a leak, which is difficult for them, either a water hammer or a burnout of the piston can occur. Therefore, it is recommended to check the injectors for the presence of series in the recall campaign. Against the back background of these difficulties, little things like the current heat exchangers, the availability of options without the heater, glitchy EGR and a clogged diesel particulate filter are just nonsense. The rest of the engine is very good. If they took care of it and changed it all on time, then it is quite capable of making the owner of such a happy car. But the gasoline N46 is unlikely to please. Many believe that the 2 liter naturally aspired engine is much simpler than diesels and turbocharged N20s. 
Apparently that's why there aren't so many cars with it. But in practice this is the set of absurdities Hana on a two-liter aspired. Complex throttle-free intake, high temperature control, adjustable oil pump. All this reduces reliability and rises the cost of servicing a banal for to a disproportionate value of its performance. In addition, the motor is famous for the banal oil scavenger. And that depends on the brand say that this is good since the oil is constantly being updated, but this is precisely the consequences of the cocking of the piston groove due to the unsuccessful drainage of oil from the oil scraper wing groove. Its unsuccessful shape allowed that a low head belt and thin compression rings. The picture is completed by an electronic oil level sensor, which sometimes malfunctions, as a result of which the motor is sent to the trash heat heap quickly and easily. The resource of the timing chain is about 150,000 km, the same is maintained by the electronic mechanism on standard oil. In principle, everything can be put in order. Replace the piston group with the modernized one, change the timing, clean the sort out, clean and sort out the engine. But most of the owners of such cars simply add oil. Therefore, it is recommended for purchase only if you have carefully read this paragraph and all of the above doesn't bother you. In any other case, it is better to take either the time-tested 6 and 52B30, the most successful of its series. Its problems are approximately similar to those of the N46 series, but they are stretched out in time by two or two and a half times. Another alternative is the petrol N20, a completely new supercharged engine. Of the advantages of the notorious Aspirate, perhaps the relatively simplicity and maintainability, there are repair dimensions and spare parts, and methods for restoring all the units, and finding a contract unit is not a problem. N20B20 in two variants of parsing, the motor is much newer and in terms of characteristics is not equal to the old N46. True, the price of restoring such an advanced engine, an all aluminum one with a tricky geometry of the piston group and adjustable pump, a cooling system, direct injection and turbocharging is several times higher, and the resource of the piston group with a small boost is equal to the timing resource on the N46. However, while the cars with it are noticeably fresher, better served and have noticeably fewer minor problems, and they go much better. Of the special troubles, leaks of the electronic electric pump of the cooling system. It is the main and the only one here. Its price is quite high and there are no cheap substitutes. All cap leaks also occur. Until 2014 it was plastic and inside the pathway couldn't withstand the old pressure. In this regard, it is strongly recommended, if the his hasn't been done yet under warranty, replacement with the glass number 1142-7548-032 with the heat exchanger number 1142-7525. Triple three. These are already all aluminum parts. The timing resource with active movement is less than 100,000 km, and the signs of the death of the old pump drive chain and mount fans of burn out on a cold engine are observed even with runs less than 70. Unfortunately, the motor was replaced with a newer service without waiting for debugging. In addition to these troubles, there is always a small chance of piston seizures, and the control electronics knock out regularly. Variants with different power differ in the piston group and chipping significantly reduces the engine resource due to an increase in the tendency of detonation and poor quality tuning. But on the other hand, the power of the order of 350 or more force is quite achievable. In principle, these motors are in many ways more successful than the N47 and N46, but finding a car with them is more difficult and it will be noticeably older. On this information about the problems of the BMW X1 E84 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.